Okay, so I haven't seen you guys in a while, and that's actually because when I went to post this video around a week ago, YouTube hit me with a community guideline strike for literally no reason. And honestly, it really sucks, but here we are, we're back, and we're gonna be posting consistently again because I did say right before that that I was gonna be posting consistently again. YouTube had other plans. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over how you could edit your very own professional YouTube videos from start to finish. I'm gonna be covering all bases in this video, so make sure to watch all the way till the end because there's some pretty juicy information in there. But if you guys do enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It means a lot to me. Thank you, YouTube, for hitting me with another community guideline strike. I think this is like number three or four in the last year. So we're skating on very thin ice. But honestly, let's just get right into the video. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys. So the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously download DaVinci Resolve. So we're going to look up DaVinci Resolve download. We're going to go over here and we're actually going to make sure that we have the newest version, which is DaVinci Resolve 18.6, I want to say. I'll have a link to it. Just go literally download DaVinci Resolve 100% free. You just press free download. Yeah, 18.6, you download it for Windows and then you should just be able to run the installation and then it should be good. So then once you've done that, you're literally just going to close out of it and then you're just going to launch DaVinci Resolve. So I'll see you once we got DaVinci Resolve opened. So once we have DaVinci Resolve open, we're going to go here to new project and we're just going to name this whatever. I'm going to call this YouTube vid tutorial 2024 or something like that you're gonna press create okay so quickly before the tutorial starts i want to quickly mention my editing packs that i have available right now basically i have two different tiers of editing pack we have my five dollar editing pack which is for beginners that only want to spend five dollars it's super budget friendly and it has literally everything you could ever need for fortnite montages content any other gaming montages etc there's a ton of motion graphics in there subtitle presets fortnite presets i'm gonna leave you guys a link for that but if you guys didn't see i just recently released my 2024 editing pack which is basically that pack but updated i have so much more content related stuff so if you are a youtuber and upcoming content creator you definitely need to check that pack out one's five dollars one's ten dollars if you did buy my previous pack and you enjoyed it i definitely recommend that you take the next step and buy the ten dollar pack it's so worth it but i don't want to go on any longer if you guys want to check out the announcement video where i go over everything in the pack be sure to go check that out that'll be at the top of the description links to both packs are gonna be at the top of the description as well let's get right into the tutorial okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to the edit tab go here to file go to settings and we're gonna make sure our frame rate and resolution are good so we're gonna change our timeline frame rate to 60 make sure our resolution is also set to 1920 by 1080 as well if you do record in 4k you can change the resolution to 4k i'm just gonna have it on 1080p because that's pretty standard in terms of youtube videos nowadays uh, but yeah that's how you do that so obviously once we've done all that we're just gonna press save to make our changes we should be good now the next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to import our footage so i'm going to go to my camera footage folder right here and then what we're going to do is we're going to import whatever footage we have recorded so for example i'm going to drag in some horizontal footage here it's actually going to prompt us if we want to change the frame rate because our recording is actually in 59.94 fps instead of 60 so it's going to ask to change it you're just going to press no because it doesn't really make a difference uh davinci resolve is going to scale it to 60 fps anyways and yeah should be good to just drag it into the timeline after that and we can see we have our video in the timeline at this point so i got my headset on now because we're going to need to listen along with the video but let's pretend that we were editing a youtube video i'm going to walk you through the first step which is going to be cutting cutting is the first step of this process and basically what we're going to do for this is it's super simple we're going to come through and we're going to cut through any dead space that we don't need so for example what we're going to be using is we're going to be using the blade tool. This can be activated by pressing B on your keyboard and we're going to use the blade tool by clicking anywhere that we don't have footage that's needed. So we're just going to come through and click on all this stuff. So for example, this isn't needed. So we're going to click, we're going to press backspace, click backspace, click backspace, click backspace. All we got to do with the leftover footage is we're just going to highlight it all, drag it to the left, and then we're just going to bring them over. And that's literally step one done cutting. Obviously it's going to be a little bit more complex if you have a longer video, which is pretty self-explanatory but yeah that's pretty much this for the example now when it comes to pacing this is kind of step 1.5 if that makes sense basically what i do after cutting is i do all my j cuts and l cuts so for example let me quickly show you what a j cut looks like so this is a j cut this is what it looks like because you know we got the whole like j i guess and then an l cut is this 
where we have the video ending before the audio. So that's a quick example of that. And then when the audio starts before the video, that's an example of a J cut, just to kind of explain it to you guys. So what I'll do is I will add J cuts and L cuts when necessary. If I want to have the audio come in before, I'll just overlap them. I'll unlink them and then shorten it down. I have kind of an advanced guide on syncing. If you want to focus on that and watch that tutorial, you can, that's going to be down below in the description. But yeah, that's just an example of step 1.5, which is pacing. Now, step two for my videos is actually going to be the smaller effects. So that's going to be zooms, um, glows if I need it, any sort of transforms, pop-ups, all that stuff. And let me quickly show you zooms and then I'll show you pop-ups and that should pretty much do it for effects, which is going to be step two of this process. So for zooms, DaVinci makes it super, super easy. All we got to do is we're going to click on the layer that we want to zoom in on. We can add a keyframe by pressing this little gray spot right here. And literally all we got to do is add a keyframe on the default value of one. Let's say we want to zoom it to this point right here which is nine seconds in we want to zoom in so we can adjust the scaling let's say we want to zoom it in this far now when we watch it back we can see if we watch this like canada flag there's a progressive zoom which is exactly what we were going for so that's perfect now we could do this throughout the entire video obviously it kind of looks weird if you're changing between zoom values so let's say we wanted to mirror the value that we had before which is 1.12 and then for here we wanted to zoom out so we could change this value to 1.12 keyframe it do the exact opposite and bring this back to one at the end by the way when you change the values you have active keyframes it'll automatically keyframe it for you so that's what i love about davinci that is how you do that so next up i'm going to be focusing on pop-ups so for this, we're going to literally look up anything. Let's look up cupcake PNG, which I have this from a previous editing project. Let's literally pick this one, for example. So let's just say cupcake, save that, open our destination. Okay, so we're going to drag in our cupcake right here, and we're going to drag this over top of the video. Basically how this is done, it's super easy. We can change the zoom a little bit, but all we got to do is change the position. So let's say we want to do a slide. We can have it hide off screen at the very beginning beginning again add our keyframe because that's super important go towards the middle drag it up which we could probably change this to zero and see that it slides in super easy um that's kind of a linear example i know some of you advanced editors are going to be cringing at that but if you guys want an advanced guide, that's going to be the next video on the channel. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to be showing you how to do graph editing, that kind of stuff. And then at the very end, you can hide it again. So it's just going to kind of come through. Um, but that is how you do a swipe through. Now, for example, if you wanted to do a like a where it goes from small to normal size, you can keyframe it at zero. Go to your zoom, change it to one or whatever this is. And then it could pop up. Dude, super easy. That's how you do that pop ups and zooms. That is step number two. Now, step number three is going to be subtitling. I'm going to get rid of this pop up just to show you an example. This is going to be step three of the process subtitling. So what I do for subtitling is I will come through and I will add a marker on every single word. So or every single sentence, I guess I should say. So let's just pretend the video starts right here. OK, so here's the software is what I say. So I'll go, OK. And then what I'll do is I'll add a marker on. So here's so here's the software and that's just going to be our three little segment example so what we're going to do is we are going to go to titles on the left side right here by the way if you don't have effects just click on effects right here drag in title drag it to the left now what we're going to do is we're going to edit the text values what you're going to want to do for this is change it to a font that you are going to be using for your subtitles you've probably seen akira in a lot of my intros that's because it's like one of my go-to fonts but what we're going to do is we're going to change the size a little bit and we're going to go to settings and drag it down to the bottom of the screen now we can also add a drop shadow or a stroke stroke being an outline i'm going to add a little bit of a drop shadow barely anything something like this should be good get rid of our stroke as well and then we're going to be good so what you're going to want to do, let's pretend you have this entire thing with markers for subtitles. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to come through and you're going to use your blade tool to cut on all these markers because obviously they're going to be new sentences. So, for example, this is going to be OK. So we're going to change this to OK. This is going to be so here's the don't know how to type. Apparently, this is software. So, for example, 
super easy dude that's step number three subtitle and you're going to do that for the entire thing just imagine this is kind of what the timeline will look like you'll have all your subtitle layers for each word or sentence and it's up to you you could subtitle every word every other word every three words all in the same sentence it's up to you guys in terms of how you want to have your video but that's basically that number four is going to be color correcting for example you can use the color tab to adjust all these so we can see that my face looks a little pale because i tend to look pale all the time saturation is what's going to help us here so we can see again this is natural footage right here literally look if i change the saturation to 70 the difference it makes it's ridiculous um so i'll always color correct my videos and let me quickly just show you an example like this is color corrected versus not color corrected look at the difference it's crazy so always make sure i can't give you specific settings for this i normally use 60 or 70 depending on my camera settings um so it will make a bit of a difference depending on what you're using your lighting setup all that obviously 70 is normally a rough value that works well for me and obviously you can mess around with the contrast the temperature the tint all that stuff um so mess around in the color tab see how that is but that is going to be step number four now step number five is actually the final step of this entire editing process basically how this works is i head on over to the deliver tab once i have everything finalized and then what i'll do is i will go through my rendering process so for example i will change my file name to video one i will change my location to my finals folder so for example i'll go over here to finals press save and then what i'll do is i'll make sure my resolution is good 1920 by 1080 good frame rate 60 good now our bit rate you can leave it on automatic davinci is pretty good when it comes to that or you can go to restrict to and change this to a hundred thousand kilobytes per second that's what i normally use encoding profile i normally use main or high you could do auto as well and that is basically that don't mess with your audio you can change the format to mp4 if you want i normally use quicktime.mov because that's kind of the best file that works with my computer uh, but that's that and then you'll press add to render queue you'll render it and that is your video final but that is that is your final video ready to be posted on youtube and that's basically that in a nutshell but if you guys did enjoy this video and you learned something new make sure to like comment subscribe we're so close to 100,000 subscribers and so many of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel yet so make sure to help me out show me some love and drop a sub i'm gonna be aiming for two to three videos a week i want you guys to try to hold me to that in the comments if i'm lacking let me know but yeah i'm gonna have more tutorials linked down below in the description if you guys want to watch that make sure you go check out my editing pack using the link at the top of the description i love you guys thank you guys for watching see you guys later peace out